welcome back to Cover 2, Hawaii High School Football Weekly. For generations, Lahaina has been known for where the sugar cane grows, but as of late, it's been the town of champions. For Lahaina Luna has won 12 consecutive MIL Division II titles, including back-to-back -back HHSAA state crowns. And on Saturday night, Big Red will play host to Roosevelt at Cooley Stadium. Rough Riders allowed just 70 total yards in a quarterfinal win over Pac-5 last week, setting up an expected showstopper in the semifinals. But for Luna's head coach Garrett Tihara, the hard work has already been done, as success in the classroom has created confidence and sustainability on the gridiron. The biggest thing our whole staff is proud about is the fact that we just uh, finished the first quarter and we had four kids with 4.0 or higher, with 30 kids with 3.0 or higher. And that's, that's unheard of, you know, and we've, we're so, so proud of our kids for that. I think the, it's the most kids we had eligible coming into the season, and then on top of that, they just got even better by getting those great grades. I mean, that's something that our, our coaches preach all year. It's the commitment. And the Division II Destruction Derby continues in the Garden Isle, where on Saturday afternoon, the KIF champs of Kapa'a will collide with Kaimuki as both look to take a step closer to the program's first ever state championship. After a one and two start, Warriors have won five straight games, while the Bulldogs most recently survived the battle on the Big Island. And as Sam Spangler tells us, the Dogs can expect some major heat. And we're not talking about the east side sunlight of Kauai. Yeah, that's right, Rob. A single fuse is expected to be lit this Saturday at Vendija Stadium, where an island divided by their three high schools are going to be united under the current champion of Kapa'a. Now, I talked to Warriors head coach Phil Raposo this week. He said that last year during the state tournament, with Kauai High School being the KIF champ, he felt like his boys were a part of their team cheering on from the stands. He expects that to be even more pronounced this year due to the flooding that happened back in April, uniting the island under one umbrella. Now, the only thing that can stop that spark from being lit this weekend is some thunderstorms are expected in the area of Lihue both Friday and Saturday. Reporting for Cover 2, Sam Spangler.